Now we're here in warehouse number one in Glenlivet and I love this little warehouse, there's such a selection of casks in here and we've got the Spanish sherry butts here, very important to Glenlivet. Yes, uh, the Spanish oak which has very much been prized for uh, the, the flavours it added to Scotch whisky over the years and uh, very much was seen as a top dressing. Then you've got the rarer French oak ones here that we use for the 15-year-old French oak reserve. The Limousin oak, yeah. Uh, another bit of fun a few years ago that they filled them into new casks coming from the cognac region to give us a different character again, mm -hmm. a different style. Suited for cognac, but we like to see what it would have done with the Glenlivet, and that's uh, been in the go for a wee while. Inside the casks, now, some are charred, some are toasted, some more than others, and now it's very important to the finished product as well. Yes, the Spanish oaks, toasted because the oak's softer so it's easier, it's more pliable for the cooper to work. American oak has uh, got that deep char, you know. Uh, it's just, in, you know, we start off with that one you make spirit but we end up with 12, 15s, 18s, 25s, over 50 years old in some cases, it's remarkable. A couple of older ones here, 1962 as well. Yeah, they're very interesting. I often marvel at that article at Bob Arthur was quoted in 1963 saying, I don't know if folk will be drinking whiskey, go and live it in 1975. When we're planning you know, so far down the line, be it you know, 12, 18, 25 years, it's an extraordinary job to make sure the stock they are available. We have to polish off the crystal ball to, to do that. It's one of the important things in stock control. As you know, Ian, we really don't know what will happen in the future. We, we, we will identify trends, but we are doing what the, the guys behind us have done, is laying down stock of Glenlivet for the future, and they will take that mantle on in the forward. So. It's a strange part of your job that you spend half of your life working with stock laid down by your predecessor, then you spend the second half of your career laying down stock for your successor coming along as well. That's right, Ian, the Glenlivet spirit, I'm tasked to make it as consistently as possible. We use the oak casks to play the different tunes and, and develop uh, different flavours, change them, pull them out with a different type of oak. So there's obviously you know, the skills of you and your team here as distillers, but equally the coopers who are preparing and making the barrels lend as much to the finished product. Yes, everybody's an important part uh, to play in the role. It's definitely a team effort from the skill of malting it, distilling it, oak selection, the length of time it spends in the different oaks, it's all important. No, there's so many different levels involved in it, no, and whether, it's the, whether it's the people of the industry or whether it's the process of the industry, everything adds its own special parts. That's right.